Cheers, everyone. Welcome to A Course in Miracles. Today we are on Lesson 105 of 365. And that lesson is God's peace and joy are mine. <clears throat> God's peace and joy are yours. Today we will accept them knowing they belong to us. And we will try to understand these gifts increase as we receive them. And we will try to understand that these gifts increase as we receive them. They are not like the gifts the world can give, in which the giver loses as he gives the gift. The taker is the richer by his loss. Very interesting. Such are not gifts, but bargains made with guilt. The truly given gift entails no loss. It is impossible that one can gain because another loses. It is impossible that one can gain because another loses. This implies a limit and an insufficiency. No gift is given thus. Such gifts are but a bid for a more valuable return a loan with interest to be paid in full, a temporary lending, meant to be a pledge of debt to be repaid with more than with more than was received by him who took the gift. The strange distortion of what giving means pervades all levels of the world you see. <clears throat> It strips all meaning from the gifts you give and leaves you nothing in the ones you take. A major learning goal this course has set is to reverse your view of giving so you can receive. For giving, a major learning goal, a major learning goal this course has set is to reverse your view of giving so you can receive. For giving has become the source of fear, and so you would avoid the only means by which you can receive. Accept God's peace and joy, and you will learn a different way of looking at a gift. But lots of strokes today. God's gift, God's gifts will never lessen when they are given away. they but increase thereby. As heaven's peace and joy intensify, when you accept them, as, as heaven's peace and joy intensify, when you accept them as God's gift to you, so does the joy of your creator grow when you accept his joy and peace as yours. True giving is creation. It extends the limitless to the unlimited, eternity to, the, to timelessness, and love unto itself. It adds to all that is complete already, not in simple terms of adding more, for that implies that it was less before. It adds by letting what cannot contain itself fulfill its aim of giving everything it has away, securing it forever for itself. Today, accept God's peace and joy is yours. Let him complete himself as he defines completion. You will understand that what completes him must complete his son as well. He cannot give through loss. No more can you. Receive his gifts of joy and peace today, and he will thank you for your gift to him. Today, our practice period will start a little differently. Begin today by thinking of those brothers who have been denied by you the peace and joy that, that are their right under equal laws of God. Here you denied them yourself, and here you must return the claim, you, and here you must return to claim them as your own. Think of your enemies a little while and tell each one as he occurs to you, my brother, Peace and joy I offer you, that I may have God's peace and joy is mine. Thus you prepare yourself to recognize God's gift to you, and let your mind be free of all that would prevent success today. 
Now you are ready to accept the gift of peace and joy that God has given you. Now you are ready to experience the joy and peace you have denied yourself. Now you can say, God's peace and joy are mine, for you have given what you would receive. You must succeed today. If you prepare your mind, you must succeed today if you prepare your mind as we suggest, for you have let all bars to peace and joy be lifted up, and what is yours can come to you at last. So tell yourself, God's peace and joy are mine, and close your eyes a while, and let his voice assure you that the words you speak are true. Spend your five minutes thus with him each time you can today, but do not think that less is worthless when you cannot give him more. At least remember hourly to say the words which call to him to give you what he wills to give and wills you to receive. Determine not to interfere today with what he wills. And if a brother seems to tempt you to deny God's gift to him, see it as but another chance to let yourself receive the gifts of God as yours. Then bless your brother thankfully and say, My brother, peace and joy I offer you, that I may have God's peace and joy as mine. And that is Lesson 105. And uh, <clears throat> as I said, lots of structs today. Um giving is salvation. Um, first paragraph, lots of structs. And, and we will try to understand these gifts increase as we receive them because they're not like the gifts the world can give in which the giver gives the gift and the taker is richer by his loss. Huge, huge struck there. Such are not gifts, but bargains made with guilt. <clears throat> Uh, the truly given entails no loss. It's impossible that one can gain because another loses. Uh, second paragraph. Uh, this, I'm talking about uh, one gains as another loses, this strange distortion of what giving pervades all levels of the world we see. Well, yeah, I, I can see that now. Uh when you give, you receive an abundance. It just depends on what my perception of, or understanding of what receiving is. And well, that's evolving, which is good. That's a good thing. Um, true, give, true giving is creation. It extends the limitless to the unlimited eternity to the timeless and love unto itself and love unto itself for sure. So good lesson today. And, uh, yeah, I have not always, uh, viewed, I, I certainly recognize that I've not always viewed, you know, giving, uh, I have lived in a, transactional world. You give to me, I give to you. Um, not, or, you know, what's in it for me, where once I got into this work, I, I did start to understand that giving is where you get the most joy and giving without expectation. And, uh, and truthfully, my life has been much more fulfilling because of adapting and understanding that, you know, making others uh, happy, giving others joy by giving it away is, you know, where salvation lies. So I'd love to hear your structs on Lesson 105. Um, as always, I appreciate the comments who uh, trickle in from time to time. And, uh, well, I'll see you tomorrow.